Hey, man. Can I have a little money? Come on, man. It's been really hard. See, uh, uh, from the heart, man. From the heart. Just, just a little bit of cash. Please. No, no, I, I'll go. I'll be good on it. I, I swear. I, I'm not going to relapse like any of the others. I'm not going to relapse like them. Just, just a little bit. From the heart, please. Wow. This is a lot. Th thank you, sir. I, I won't forget this. Can I, can I get your name? No? Oh, whatever. I, I don't want to bother him. Wow. Wow. This is kind of goofy. Got any ideas of what you want to do today? Hmm? Ask you, not the wind. Too drunk for interviews anyway. Shouldn't drink and drive. That's kind of funny. It's not like I just popped out of my mother's womb like this. It just sort of happened, you know? I mean, like, I went to school, I did my thing, and then I just sort of ended up here. Didn't do it out of malice. I have to mark the other box now. I'm the ethnicity it's okay to despise. We can't all have jobs, right? I mean, because of inflation. Inflate the poverty like a balloon. I was in line for this job once. This was back when the recession hit. I was waiting in line for this Halloween store job. Stupid minimum wage kid shit. I had to wait for three hours and three digit September heat. Fill out an application and do a mini interview. I was waiting in line with other people that lost their jobs doing respectable things. Things that made you more than qualified for stupid minimum wage kid shit. They were sad at what they had to do. You know? They were begging to work there. I saw Ivy League graduates, desperate dads who looked like they would do sexual favors if needed be. It's hard to be motivated to steal a job from one of them. And I got a call back, but I hesitated. When I called them, they said they'd given it to someone else. I went to that Halloween store a week later. I'd given it to some apathetic college student who didn't seem to care very much. And that was depressing. Maybe I should have taken that job. I mean, like, fuck other people, right? <laughs> yeah, goddamn right. And the only way to make money in this world is to grab it from someone else. You know, when there's no food or organic body waste in here, shuffling through the trash really ain't so bad. It's just like, kind of all of the stuff in your house mixed up in a blender. Sort of. People really don't know how much you can do with stuff. I mean, not just some crappy hipster way either. What's a good thing to put on my side? What do you mean you don't know? This is important. Evil corporations use billboards. I'm gonna use Bill's brother, Card. Get it? Cardboard? Cardboard of direct. Shut up, I'm funny. You know, when you think about it, this kind of is my job. 
I mean, I'm, I'm in advertising. I met this unemployed guy once. He said he was a marketing major. I told him he should market himself better. He got really annoyed. Sorry you suck at your major, dude. I'm gonna be carrying this thing around with me all day. I need it to represent me. It's kind of stupid. Creativity is God's gift to poverty. I mean, it's all a matter of perspective. I mean, there's people out there flipping those goofy advertising signs and they get paid. I mean, they bother people all day and they make money. Why can't I do that? And I'd do it anyway. A homeless person flipping signs to sell homes. Brilliant. You know, there should be a service where they pay homeless people to advertise things all across America. I mean, you just go to a website and enter in what you want to advertise and they'll do it for you. It's kind of like Google ads, except you feel like less of a piece of shit afterwards. I mean, seriously, how brilliant is that idea? I mean, if I had any connections or skill at all, I'd do it. But I don't have either of those, so I'm here. What do you think? Gotta get the sympathy vote somehow. What do you know? Like you've ever had to convince anybody of anything? Well, fuck you then. I've gotta drink you to get you to shut up. Sucks. I heard this story once. As of a woman. She had a sign just like mine. She made a thousand dollars in a day and then hopped into a pickup truck. She wasn't homeless, she just knew how to play the game. I was never good at playing games. I always got lazy towards the finish. I mean, when I was younger, I, I always got sick in the winter, and then these doctors would prescribe me a bottle of pills. I'd take the pills, and then once I got to feel better, I'd stop taking them. Because why would I take them? I feel better. Eh, well, I'd get sick again. Doctor and yell at me for being an idiot for not finishing the pills. I spent most of my time thinking about arguments with people that I had 10 years ago and fighting those people that I argued with. It's strange. Nothing I fantasize about ever comes true. I mean, I fantasize about riches and bitches, and that never comes true. I fantasize about being someone's bitch. That never comes true. Maybe. Maybe I should just fantasize about horrible and evil things. Then they'll never come true. Go buy some whiskey. <laughs> that was offensive. People think I'm up to no good. I'll show them. Mm. I'm gonna send this money to some shitty company that's fucking up the world. I don't care what you think. You're gonna do it. It'll kill them. You watch. Oh. Fuck, I think I licked the snot. I'm still doing this. I don't think it's gonna stop me. This is biological warfare, real anarchist shit. The money's killing them. It's killing me too, apparently. I 
I used to get my bills in the mail and it almost killed me. Now they're gonna get money in the mail and it'll kill them. I'm gonna get high off that thought alone for a while. The Unabomber mailed bombs. I'm gonna mail my sickness. I might even give it to some postal worker who's trying to steal the money. He can catch cold and drop dead, watch it spread everywhere. Spread as the only ones left of the supreme master homeless race. Touch last by this scourge that we perfected. We can rise up and take what is rightfully ours. We can live without money. We can wash it down with the antibacterial nature of alcohol. The rich won't be so lucky. They will cling desperately to the money as it burns a hole in their hand. You know, if I pissed in this mailbox, that'd be considered a felony. I mean, there's international goods in here and shit. You know, there, there could be like some letter from an ambassador to a different country. I don't know if I can handle that kind of responsibility. Degrading material that might cause an act of war. And all of this while everything is going exactly according to plan. No, I didn't put postage stamps on those. I just put the to and from addresses at the same place. I don't use food stamps, I don't use postage stamps. That's how I roll. You know, I need to figure out something to call you, something really clever. A uh, face bottle thing. I don't have ideas. <laughs>